Hi, fourth graders. Happy Thursday. We are finishing up our immigrant unit this week. And today and tomorrow, we're going to be looking really closely at some primary sources that were from this specific time period. So what is a primary source? A primary source is something created at a specific time in history. So it has to have been done there by someone that was there. So these can be photographs taken, papers that were found or written during this time, um, books, objects, or again, pieces of writing that were written during this time. It cannot be something that was done after the fact. It had to have been done someone that was there, someone that experienced it. So when we look at these primary sources, we're going to do these three steps. We're going to observe, we're going to look, what do we see? We're going to reflect and think about what can I learn from this picture? And then you're going to ask some questions and think about what do you wonder? What's something else you might want to learn? So we're going to do this example. Um, so here's a woman. She looks like she's in a kitchen. So the first step is to observe. So I'm saying I see a wood burning stove, which is right here. Um, there's a little kind of a gate right here where you would put wood and you would actually light the wood on fire and that's how they would cook the food. Uh, right here is a um, hand pump faucet, which means that there is no sink that has running water here. Um, she has to actually pump that handle to get water out of a water source. And I also see that right here there's a big bowl on the floor. So now I'm going to reflect. What can I learn from this? So since there's a wood stove, since there's a pump faucet, and since there's that bowl on the floor, I'm assuming that they do not have electricity and they don't have running water at this house. Um, and I got that from our background information that we learned about immigrants and from what I'm seeing in this picture. Now you're going to ask some questions. So I'm going to think, what do I wonder? What do I want to learn about from this picture? And I decided that I wonder how long it took to cook food with the stove or how long did it take them to get water or where did they get water from? Okay. So we're going to look at two different sets of pictures today, and then you're going to do those three steps on your Google form. So here's the first picture. These are some immigrants that are beginning to travel, or they are coming right into Ellis Island with all their belongings. So as you can see, this woman here, she's wearing some type of scarf over her head. She's got a suitcase and another bag in her hand, and then she's got this giant bag here wrapped around her body. And then this looks to be the same woman. Nope, different scarf. Different woman. <laughs> She's got a giant bag sitting on top of her head. Um, and there's two other women and a baby here. And as you can see, the women all have that scarf wrapped around their head. So again, observe. What do you see? Tell me, what are you seeing in these pictures? What are they doing? What are they looking like? Uh, second is reflect. What are you learning from this? What can you take away from this? And then third is, what do you wonder? What questions do you have? And this is our second picture for today. These are a bunch of immigrants sitting on these long benches in the main hall at Ellis Island. So again, observe, look closely. What do you see? Reflect. What can you learn from this? And ask questions. What do you wonder about this? All right, that's all I've got for you today. I will see you tomorrow with a couple more primary sources to look closely at. Have a great day, guys.